Welcome to Graphic Element, where you can explore your imagination. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first Graphic Element how-to tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be showing you how to make a portrait or image using text. So let's get started. First, um, you would like to choose any image you want, so click on File Open and choose an image. I've, de I've decided to choose this image of Steve Jobs. Now what we'll like to do is um, separate the shadows with the mid-tones of the image. So click on select and choose color range and choose select there, choose shadows. As you can see it has, has selected these shadows areas of the image. So would like to implement this into a new layer so click on Control J or Command J on the Mac and you can see selected the shadow areas again we would like to select on click on select color range but this time we would like to choose the mid-tones and again put in a new layer so click Control J or Command J on the Mac now we would like to merge these two image, these two layers, sorry. And to do so, you just click on Control E or Command E on a Mac. Now we would like to make a new layer and fill it with a black. So click on this note icon there. As it says, create a new layer, click on it and choose your paint brush your paint bucket sorry and um, click on the layer and you can see it made a new layer on the back now we'd like to implement the text tool because that is what we're going to use to show the image so click on the text tool and just drag it from the top left corner to the bottom right corner and you can paste any text you want I've chosen to use a speech from Steve Jobs that he did on a Stanford University and make sure that there is no space between the paragraphs that they're all close together because that will help with the effect of the image of the design Also, in areas such as those, make sure you backspace it so there'll be no space at all. See, as I'm doing here, unfortunately, this will take a while. I apologize. Good. I advise you that I uh, will just leave those areas. I would like to advise you that the smaller the text, the better to the more information it will show. So you would like to choose a small font size. because it will help in the image and finally done now we would like to put this layer into the text so we would like to add a layer mask as you can see here, if you just leave your mouse there, it will say create a new layer mask, add a layer mask, there you go. 
So we like to click on that and a low mass has been added. Now we would like to make sure that this image is implemented into the layer max that we have just add. So we will do this by click selecting the whole layer. So click Control A, copying the whole layer. So click Control C, and then we would like to deselect the layer. Now to ensure that the text knows that we want to implement the image into the layer mask we would like to hold alt and click on the layer mask and as you can see it's ready for you to implement anything and we just like to click control v to paste the image that we had above now you can't see nothing yet but as i click on the text tool we see a photo of steve job and there you go that's basically as you can see as I duplicated you can see more effects and you can see his eyes and his mustache so that's basically the tutorial that we have for you today thank you very much for watching